uh, different. We've got two common opponents, uh, Lander and Lee's McRae. We split with them. So we've got a little bit there to share. But, you know, this will be its own unique battle, its own unique test. And, uh, you know, it's. I think we have a pretty good idea of what to expect um, on both sides of the ball. We've just got to now go and perform at a really high level, competitively speaking, to get the outcome we want. Adam Cavalier alongside Carl Stewart, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. You go against uh, a transfer from King and Connor Jordan, who fairly intimately familiar with leading score at 13.6 points per game. Uh, one of the best mid-range games in the South Atlantic Conference. How do you defend that? Well, he's, he's, he's versatile. I mean, cl- clearly, as you said, he's, he's an incredible mid-range uh, shot maker. Uh, he's he's a he's a guy's been playing basketball. He's almost kind of guy's actually been around forever, um, and he's been really effective the whole time he's been playing. So we know what he brings. We know what we have to do as far as uh, keeping him covered. Uh, but they clearly are not a one yeah. uh, a one person kind of team. They've got a they play it. They, they have a huge rotation. They play 11, 12, even thirteen guys on any given night, and they're very big. I mean, before the season, Burton, you know, thought that this would be the best team he'd ever had there, and thought they could defend like no team he's had. And that's a mouthful because I think they've always been a really high end, top half team in our in our conference. So uh, the little guards, one thing, Connor Jordan's one thing, but there's a lot of other people we got to keep in mind. Uh, the, the pieces they've added a. Josiah Morris from UT Martin, a uh, Akeem Adusipi uh, from Vanderbilt via Kent State. Uh, what are their what challenges does their size pose on the interior? Well, just the sheer size enhances their their, their preferred uh, zone approach defensively. Uh, the Morris kid from Martin, he can he can really shoot. He's, he's big, six six two fifteen. He can really shoot the basketball like, like our our top end shooters can. Uh, but they've got several more. It's, it's crazy. They've got th- they got three of those guys in that six ten range that are agile, mobile, physical, and provide a, a sort of a, a presence. Thankfully, we got some big guys ourselves to sort of counter that. But um, it it really is now. They you know that three and four record. I we, I I don't even think about that with them at all. I I know who they've played, and I know uh, it's been it's been close in every one of those games. Um, we know they're going to have their A game ready. This 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 game, the history of this game is big, and and uh, we all know what's, what this means. So we'll, we'll, we we should be ready. It just depends on what the outcome will end up being. Chuck, pleasure as always. Good luck today against the Pioneers. Thanks, Kevin. It's Carson Newman, Hebbins basketball coach Chuck Benson. Starting lineup: skis the game on the AEC countdown. Tip off comes back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Don't go anywhere. Tip-off is next. Trip Davis, marvelous, with the hands on one end and the guile to finish on the other. More CN memories are headed your way on the Eagles Sports Network. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. 
from footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks. Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This head of the key, straight on three, down high! Is Carson Newman men's basketball on the Eagle Sports Network? Thomas drives to the free throw line, stops, right hand, floater, got it, count it, and a foul! Bryant Thomas into the teeth of Jason Brooks! Today's game is brought to you by. Appalachian Electric Cooperative by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, Domino's, First Bank, by ShopCNEagles.com, The Eagle Club, The Bible Insurance Agency, by Pepsi, by Magaha Electric, Interdigital, by Food City, Trilight, and by Lisa's Country Kitchen. Now, back to the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. We welcome you back courtside to uh, Pioneer Arena. Carson Newman and Tusculum's starting fives being introduced. Eagles have had their five introduced to the crowd at hand. Pioneers are presently being announced. And let's go ahead and get you squared away with those starting fives. Tusculum, three and four, one and one in the league. Under head coach J.T. Burton trot out a... Two guard, two forward, one center. Line up. The guards are Connor Jordan and K.J. Crump. They're both double-digit scorers. Jordan, 5'10", 175 pounds out of Morristown. Crump, 5'7", 150 pounds out of Clarksville. Jordan averages a team-best 13.6 a night. Crump, 10.3 per game. Front court, Josiah Morris. He's a 6'6", forward out of Mount Washington, Kentucky, who transfers in from UT Martin, 11 points per game. Best three-point shooter. He knocks down threes at 42%. He's joined by forward Jacob Hobbs, 6'8", out of Elizabethton, Kentucky. He averages five a game. And the man in the middle, 6'10", 210 pounds, out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, a Delta Community College transfer. That's Travis Pujol. Carson Newman utilizes the same starting five that it has the last four games. Jack Browder, Nick Brennigan, Trey Hubbard, John Zhao, and Usman Ja. Zhao, the league's third leading scorer at 20 points per game. Eagles are 5-2 and two and 0-1 and in the league, trying to snap a five-game losing streak to Tusculum. Peugeot versus Ja for the jump. Ball is in the air for a eighth straight game. Eagles win the tip. And in blue jerseys, bring the basketball from right to left against zone defense by the Pioneers. You can see a lot of zone in this game between Chuck Benson and J.T. Burton's teams. Eagles, five out to start. Hubbard drives down the right side of the lane. Right hand here, drop left it short. Punched into the left corner where it's tapped out of bounds by Pujo and stays with Carson Newman. So the Eagles get the ball out of bounds in the left corner. Jack Browder will trigger. Again, trying to get it in against Hobbs. And he does. Eagles circle it back out between the rings to Trey Hubbard and reset. Usman Ja drive inside, kick out Zhao right wing. Tusklum covers him up, bounces it to Ja right block. Ja spins right, stumbles, right hand flipped it in. But first, he walked. That was an incredible basket by Usman Ja, but he lost his footing, walks, and the ball back to the Pioneers. Eagles haven't won in this series since March of 2021. That was a one-point win against the Pioneers in the semifinals of the SAC tournament. Trip Davis won the game with a goaltend at the horn. Pioneers with it front court and all white with black numerals. Crump backdoor lob. Missed the dunk, did Peugeot off the back iron. Jack Browder, the rebound. He goes fly at the floor. Outletted ahead to Job, batted out of bounds by Peugeot. Stays with Carson Newman off the right side of the baseline. Nearly a nifty three-quarter court find by Nick Brennigan. But Peugeot closed late 
with his 6'10 length. Did the transfer out of Delta Community College. Brown to right baseline, triggers into Jaw. One dribble, kicks out. Zhao, right wing, catch three. Back of the 10, no good. Hobbs up with the rebound left block for the Pioneers. No score, minute 15 in. Pioneers work from left to right. Crump runs the point between the rings. Goes over to the left wing, Jordan. Back to Crump between the circles. Three around two for the Pioneers. Jordan, left baseline drive, cut off by Zhao. Steps on the baseline. Takes a tumble into the stanchion of the basket and turns it over. These teams historically, when Chuck Benson and J.T. Burton coach against one another, end up in defensive slobber knockers in the first 90 seconds, certainly that way. Trey Hubbard goes around. Crump gets to the hole. Can't hit the bunny. Zhao an offensive rebound. Stick back. No, but fouled. John Zhao to the stripe after Peugeot picks up his first. And the first on the Pioneers. Two free throws for John Zhao. Saw a string of 13 consecutive makes at the line without a miss. Come to a halt on Saturday against Limestone. Zhao in an all-blue jersey. Orange numerals trimmed in white. Bends his knees. Flips the first free throw up. And on the board here in this one. one nothing Eagles. 105 seconds in. Second free throw for John Zhao. Shrug of the shoulders. Bend to the knees. And he stretches the strings with the second free throw. 2 nothing Eagles leading. Minute 15 in. Tusklum breaks Carson Newman's pressure. Gets it into the high post. Here's a free throw line. Jay Josiah Morris connects from 16 feet out. Straight on. 2-2 ball game. Two minutes in. Hubbard across the timeline. Left side for Carson Newman. Right hand dribbles. Chest pass left wing. Brennigan. Brennigan puts the ball on the deck with the right hand. Zips it inside. Jaw. Left elbow. Backs it out. Zhao head of the key. Left around a jaw screen. Zhao gets to the cup. Right hand finger roll. Loops it in off the window. 4-2. Eagles lead. John Zhao has all the points for Carson Newman. And now Zhao draws an offensive foul on Peugeot on the other end. And that's Travis Peugeot's second personal and the team's second. 17-37 to go. First half. 4-2. Eagles leading. Peugeot exits. Akeem Adusipi enters. Adusipe, pardon me. And Hubbard will bring it over the timeline. Center court for Carson Newman. Hubbard. Skip it left wing. Brennigan. Skip back to the right corner. Browder. Browder. Left to the head of the key. Zips it right corner. Hubbard. Hubbard. One dribble. Hits Brennigan. Head of the key. Catch three. Bottom. Nick Brennigan. Stretches Carson Newman's edge to five. Five in a row for the Eagles. It's 7-2 Carson Newman. 17-12 to go in the first half. Tusklum brings it left to right. High post for Hobbs. Back to the basket free throw line. One dribble. Takes it up. Browder the steal. Browder up the middle of the floor for the blue clad Eagles. Gets it head of the key. Flips it. Brennigan left wing. Drop it off. Jaw left block. Kick out. Brennigan left corner. Catch three. Brennigan back iron. No. Rebound poked out of the hands of Morris for a moment. He gathers it back in, gets it to Connor Jordan, who brings it front court. Jordan, left wing. Bounce feet inside, Adusipe. Reverse layup. No, before that, steps. Walks to the basketball. Fourth turnover for the Pioneers. 7-2, Eagles leading. 16-41 to play in the first half. Browder, Hubbard, Brennigan, Ja Zhao on the floor for Carson Newman. Adusipe, Crump, Jordan, Morris, and Hobbs for the Pioneers. Left corner, Nick Brennigan, open look, catch three, rattles out, no good. Jack Browder shoved to the deck going for the rebound, and he draws a foul. Charge this to Josiah Morris. It's his first, the team's third. Eagles struggling from the field to start this game. Carson Newman, two of eight from the floor, but they've got a five-point lead. That's because Tuslam's turning it over. Inbounds comes to Zhao, left baseline, dribbles in, right hand, flips it up, rattling, got it. Charity roll of plenty there for John Zhao, and Carson Newman has scored seven straight to make it a 9-2 ball game with 16-15 to go in the first half. Tusklum looking for an answer. Jordan off the mark with a three. Hubbard takes the rebound away from Adit. Sipier in the middle of the lane. 
Hubbard cruising coast to coast. Right hand can't get the run of the fall right of the paint. Adusipe snares the rebound for the Pioneers in the middle of the lane. Gets it to K.J. Crump who walks over the timeline center court. Eagles in the middle of a 7-0 run trying to get another stop. Pioneers haven't scored in two minutes. Crump into the high post to Morris. Morris drives left block on Browder. Cuts, cuts him off. Right hand hook. No. Ja taps the rebound up. Zhao takes it away at the left elbow. Into the hands of Trey Hubbard who brings it front court for Carson Newman. Hubbard accelerating into the paint. Kicks Brinnigan. Head of the key. Zhao. Zhao around the Hubbard left wing. Zip it inside. Jaw left of the lane. Jaw one dribble. Hands off. Zhao left wing. Fires a three. Air balled it. Zhao was trying to draw a foul. No whistle. Tusculum gets the stop. Pioneers bring it left to right. Eagles just 30% from the field, but lead by seven. Pioneers have started one of four. Crump into the paint. Fading. Ten-footer. Got it. Over the sack logo. That stops the three-minute scoring drought for the Pioneers. And a 7-0 Carson Newman run. 9-4. Eagles leading. Five minutes into this ball game. Carson Newman moving right to left. Hubbard lobs jaw left elbow. Backs it out. Browder in the left corner. Browder. Zips it across court to the right wing. Zhao. Tend to shoot. Zhao. Right corner. Uzman Jaw. Hits Brennigan. Curling. Three ball. Yes. Great ball movement. Uzman Jaw. Nick to Nick Brennigan. JT Burton has seen enough. He calls for time. A 10-2. Carson Newman run. Has the Eagles up 12-4. With 14-41 to play in the opening half. Eight point lead is the Eagles largest here in the early going of this game. We return to Pioneer Arena. Carson Newman leading by eight early here on the Eagles Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. This is Carson Newman men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Carson Newman's only shooting 36% from the field, but the Eagles have three offensive rebounds for the nation's leader in rebounding margin. A 4-0 advantage in second chance points. Probably more importantly, Tusculum's turned it over four times, and Carson Newman has a 7-0 advantage in points off turnovers. That's the reason for this early 12-4 Carson Newman lead with 14.34 to go. In the opening half. Pioneers with the basketball front court. Crump throws around an Adu Sippy screen. Backdoor lob for a jam. Airmailed for Printup. Browder the rebound. Up the floor to Trey Hubbard. Hubbard into the lane. Right hand teardrop. Got it to fall. Before that, an offensive foul. Charge this. To Ben Beaker. His first. Team's first. So the ball back to Tusculum. After the offensive miscue for the Eagles. Jordan. Into the front court for the Pioneers. Turnover a minute here in the early going for Tusculum. Crump with it left wing. Right around the screen. Hubbard stays with him. Crump to the right block. Zips the pass across the baseline and into Tub- Hubbard's awaiting arm. Hubbard into the front court for Carson Newman. Drives into the lane, dish out, Browder, right wing, catch three, splash! Jack Browder drills the triple, and the Eagles surge ahead by 11. It's a 13-2 Carson Newman run to take a 15-4 lead with 13-40 to play in the first half. Pioneers on to the offensive end. Morris into the high post for Adusipe. Adusipe spins inside, up and under, move, whistle, walk. Seventh turnover for the Pioneers. And Carson Newman's bench is lively. 
15 to four, Eagles leading. Well, that's, this is a good start for Carson Newman, but Tusculum has rallied twice this year from double-digit deficits. Eagles break the Pioneers' press, hover down the right side of the lane, shovels it off, Beaker left block, he throws it down with two hands. 17-4, Eagles by 13. It's a 15-2 burst for Carson Newman. 13-10 to go in the first half. Tusculum front court. Between the rings, Marshall. Around to Printup right wing. Printup, left-hand dribbles, puts it inside Adusipe, and Beaker comes over the back. So that's a second personal on Ben Beaker, second team foul on Carson Newman. And Usman Ja will check back in for the Eagles. Pioneers looking to inbound before we get that. A whistle and a foul on Nick Brennigan, his first team's third. Eagle fans, AEC is your touchstone energy cooperative. Service you can trust and value you can depend on. Powering Mossy Creek for AEC, member-owned and service-driven. Marshall chucks it into the backcourt. Nearly an over and back. Kobe Funderburk saved it in. And Marshall will get it over to the left wing for Bryce Jackson. Lob in the high post. Funderburk, left elbow J. Short off the front iron. Odusipe grabs the rebound. Kicks it around. Left corner. Jackson, three. Short front iron. Bring in the rebound. Gets it to Trey Hubbard, and the Eagles bring it right to left ahead by 13. Hubbard into the paint, kicks it out, Brennigan right wing. Brennigan curls out of the key, start and stop move down the left side of the lane. Twirls, passes out, Hubbard intercepted by Jackson. Jackson running to the rim, goes in, two hands, lays it in, count it, plus one. Firm taking transition for Bryce Jackson. The foul on Trey Hubbard, his first and the team's fourth. That stops a two-minute, 40-second scoring drought for the Pioneers and an 8-0 Eagle run. 17-6, Eagles by 11. 12.26 to go in the first half. Bryce Jackson, 25 of 23 at the line this season, 89.3% for Jackson. Couple dribbles, spins the ball into his left hand, shoots the and one free throw with the right and calmly sinks it, nothing but net. 10-point game, 17-7. 12.6 to go in the opening stanza. Eagles have led wire to wire thus far by as many as 13 after that 15-2 run. Jaw at the left elbow. Gets it between the rings. Over to the right point for Hubbard. Curls around a jaw screen. Free throw line teardrop. Good from 15 for Trey. Trey Hubbard onto the scoring column. He's got his first points. Back to a 12-point lead for the Eagles. 19-7. Eight minutes into the first half. Pioneers front court. Marshall twirls inside. Adusipe can't hit the bunny. Jaw punches out the rebound, but right to Thunderbird, who dribbles, loses it out of bounds off the right baseline. And a whistle and a foul on Rendire. His first, team's fifth, brings us to a break in the action. 11.52 to play first half. Carson Newman 19, Tusculum 7. Eagles have made their last four shots from the field. Carson Newman shooting 50% in the opening stanza. Back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. I get my power from my co-op so I can put my energy into my family. Into waking up the neighborhood. Latte for Christine. I get my power from the co-op so I can put my energy into planting seeds for a brighter future. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives power to your community for your community so your energy can go into the things that matter most to you. My 69 Camaro. Who powers you? AEC, the right call for your energy needs. Let us help you score success. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks. Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. 19-7, Carson Newman leads Tusculum with 11.52 to play in the first half. Adam Cavalier happy to have you courtside here at Pioneer Arena. Skip Roberts running the show back inside network control. Pioneer ball out of the break. Inbounds comes to Thunderbird. 
between the rings. Goes over to Marshall, left wing, stripped. Dyer the steal. Three on one break. Dyer, a bounce head. Satterfield cruising the rim, lays it in with a finger roll. Left hand off the glass with a smooch. 21 7. Eagles up 14. 11 35 to play in the first half. Nice bounce feed by Dyer to get Satterfield to the 10. Tusklum an eight turnover. Eagles outscoring them 14 3 in points off turnovers. Zone D for the Eagles. Thunderbird left corner. Pumps. Hits Marshall. Head of the key. Steps left. Fires a long two. Front of the 10. Won't go down. Ja the rebound. Stumbles. Seizes it. And Usman Ja. Did he get a timeout off? To retain possession. Yes, he did. So Usman Ja burns a timeout. 21-7. Eagles by 14. Eagle fans, Domino's is the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. When you're hungry, reach for Domino's. Get a large one-topping pie for $5.99 with your Carson Newman ID. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. CN's limited Tusculum to 30% shooting in this one. While Carson Newman has found its offensive footing after an early slog where they made two of their first seven shots. Eagles have now sunk six of their last eight. Carson Newman ball out of the break. Also helpful eight pioneer turnovers and a 14-3 edge in points off turnovers. That's probably the biggest difference in this one right now. 21-7. Carson Newman the lead in the ball as Satterfield brings it front court. Moves between the rings. Chest pass left wing Brennigan. Brennigan hits Zhao, head of the key. Round of Satterfield. Into the right corner. No, deflected. Satterfield gets it back. Eagles reset. Brennigan, left wing. Stops, passes Jaw at the head of the key. Around to Zhao, right wing. Catch three, deep. Back iron, no. Jaw sees an offensive rebound. Pumps, layup, erased by Taylor. Tusco on the ball, moving left to right. Marshall, between the rings. Motions to set a screen. Hits Jackson on the left wing. Jackson for print up at the left elbow. Shot up, 15. Back iron, no. Dyer elevates for the rebound. Into Satterfield's hands, who sprints up the left sideline, weaving front court to the right wing and hands off Dyer. Eagles trying to extend a 14-point lead. Satterfield, left wing handles with the right hand. Ambles his way between the circles. And some perspiration. And out comes a mop. So 15 on the shot clock for Carson Newman after the mop work complete. Eagle fans, Lisa's Country Kitchen serves the best home-cooked meals that the Lakeway region has to offer. Lisa's Country Kitchen, the official restaurant of the Carson Newman Eagles. Dyer inbounds between the rings to Jarius Satterfield. Back to Dyer, left wing, zip it inside, jaw left block. 10 on the shot clock. Jock feeds a cutting. Dyer, Dyer through the middle of the lane, has the two-handed jam. 16-point lead for Carson Newman is the largest of the night for the Eagles. 23-7, C in leading. 9.58 to go in the first half. Pioneers with it front court. Marshall, high-low lob into the high post. Taylor faces the basket, shoots from 15. Back iron, no. Eagles get the stop. Dyer grabs the rebound right block. Into the front court comes Jerry Satterfield. Up top, Brennigan around the Satterfield right wing. Satterfield takes the open three. Air balls it badly off to the left and out of bounds. Carson Newman has scored 6-0. Six straight, pardon me, a 6-0 run to complement a 15-2 run earlier. That's the reason for this 16-point lead, the largest of the night for the Eagles. 23-7, Carson Newman over Tusculum, 9.33 to go in the first half. Honor Jordan over the timeline, center court against Jarius Satterfield. Sensational defensive performance thus far for the Eagles. Jordan, left hand dribbles, motions with his right hand, switches to his right handed dribble, and goes to the left wing for Morris. Morris curls into the lane, kicks into the corner for Hobbs. Five to shoot. Hobbs drives right baseline. Three, two, Hobbs, free throw line, off balance, leaner, front iron, no, rebound loose. Dyer snatches it right of the paint for the Eagles. Clad in blue. Satterfield up the left sideline to Rin Dyer, left wing. Dyer flips it to Satterfield, head of the key around to Zhao, right wing. One of the catch three, not there, cut off. Zhao drives, gets contact, and draws a foul. John Zhao to the stripe after putting a personal on whom? I have no idea. Chuck Benson? Not see-through. Couldn't see around him to check the signs coming to the table. 
It's on, I believe, K.J. Crump. Inferring a few data points there. It's his first and the team's fourth. Jow's first free throw is through nothing but nylon. And it's a 7-0 Carson Newman run and a 24-7 lead for the Eagles. Second free throw for John Zhao. Nothing but cords. 25-7, Eagles by 18, 8.49 to play in the first half. 8-0, Carson Newman run to stretch out the advantage. Pioneers with it front court. Jordan, left wing with the rock. Left around the string of the free throw line. Jordan backs it out, left corner, back to Jordan, left wing. Jordan, pull up, free throw line, tough 15-footer, won't go down. Satterfield amongst the trees, pulls in the rebound. Ahead to Dyer, zips it ahead to Brinnigan. Left corner, steps back, three, dead eye! Nick Brinnigan rains it down from deep, and the Eagles swell the lead to 21. 28-7 with 8.18 to go in the first half. JT Burton calls for time to try to stop the bleeding of an 11-0 Carson Newman run. We're back to Pioneer Arena after these messages. Eagles in control here on the Eagles Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs, since 1931. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. Eight eighteen to go, first half, 28-7. Carson Newman leads Tusculum. The Eagles in the middle of an 11-0 run. Tusculum goes an entire media timeout without scoring. 2-2-1, full court pressure for the Eagles. First time that Carson Newman has used press in a game this season. Right wing for K.J. Crump. Spots up for a three, steps into it, missed it off the back iron. Long rebound out. For Hobbs, second chance for the Pioneers. Tuscum just 21% from the field in the first half. Right wing for Hobbs, 10 to shoot. Between the circles, Crump. Eagles in their zone, 8 and 7. Crump. Over the left wing, Morris back to Crump right point. 4 and 3. Crump crossover to the free throw line. Off balance, airballed it. Couldn't ask for a better defensive possession for Carson Newman. Non-rhythm, off balance from 15 feet out. And Crump, uncomfortable looking. Scoring drought extends to 4 minutes and 50 seconds for the Pioneers. 28-7, Eagles leading. 7.37 to go in the first half. Hubbard, Browder, Beaker playing with two fouls. Zhao and Brennigan on the floor for Carson Newman. Beaker hits Browder, curling down the right side of the lane. Right hand, chucks it off the window, and it's good for two. 13-0 run for the Eagles. 30-7. Carson Newman up 23 with 7-17 to go in the first half. Pioneers with it front court. Jordan between the rings. Chest pass. Right wing, Josiah Morris. Back to Jordan. Bounce feed inside. Left block for Hobbs. Fades and converts from 10 feet out left baseline. That stops the five-minute Pioneers scoring drought. 30-9. Eagles by 21. 6.55 to go first half. Carson Newman front court. Hubbard driving inside. Can't get it in the fall. Rebound punched out. Snared by Hobbs right of the lane. Up to Crump who brings it across the timeline center court. Accelerating down the right side of the lane. Drop it off Odusipe. Reverse layup. Right hand. Won't go. Beaker the box out and the board. Ahead to Zhao left wing. Zhao splits two defenders. Gets to the hole. Left hand. Can't finish. But he's fouled. Strong take for John Zhao. The personal goes on Akeem Odusipe. 
for his first and the team's fifth. Two more free throws for John Zhao. Zhao with eight. Half of that has come at the charity strike. So John Zhao gets to shoot two. And a chance to stretch the lead back to 23. Spins the ball into his left hand. Two more dribbles. First free throw. Nothing but net. Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Touching lives and securing futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. Contact Carson Newman Men's Basketball alum Taylor Hawkins at cneagles.com slash modernwoodman to help secure your family's financial future. 32-9, Eagles by 23 after Zhao makes the second. Pioneers get it front court. Odu Sipe with the basketball, backs it up to Jordan right point. Skip it, left wing for Hobbs. 6.18 to go first half. Down inside Odu Sipe, left block. Spins left on Bleak. Beaker, Beaker builds the wall. Odu Sipe misses it off the backboard, and Beaker grabs the rebound. Up the right sideline, Hubbard hits Zhao into the right corner, deflects off his hands and out of bounds. Fourth turnover for Carson Newman. Ball back to the Pioneers. 32-9, Eagles by 23. Matching their biggest lead of the night with 6.04 to play in the first half. Pioneers bring it front court. Hobbs, right wing. Gets it to Jordan between the rings. Back to Hobbs, right wing. Back to Jordan between the rings. Eagles stay in their zone. Three around two for the Pioneers. Jordan hits Crump left corner. 10 to shoot. Out to the left wing for Hobbs. Back up top, Jordan, head of the key. 8-7, and seven, Jordan, pull up, right elbow. 17-footer off the mark. Browder the rebound for the Eagles. Up for Hubbard, hits a cutting Zhao. It's through his hands and out of bounds. Daft for Hubbard to try the half-court feed. Would have been a tough bucket for John Zhao. I think he was nearly underneath the basket when the ball hit his hands. Eagle fans, check out Carson Newman Athletics' official online store at shopseeneagles.com, featuring more than 1,100 products from T-shirts and polos to phone skins and pet collars. Shopseeneagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. 32-9, Carson Newman by 23. It's a 15-2 Carson Newman run over the last six and a half minutes. 5.24 to play in the first half. Right wing for Bryce Jackson. Jackson, left hand dribbles to the head of the key, gets it to Odusipe. Odusipe hands off Crump left wing, back between the circles, Hobbs. Tin to shoot. Over to Jordan, back to Odusipe, left point. Run the weave to Crump, head of the key. Five and four. Crump spins, free throw line, pumps, leans, missed it off the backboard, nothing else. Zhao grabs the rebound at the free throw line. No second chance for the Pioneers. Browder in transition. Down the left side of the lane, left hand, swoops it up, won't swoop it in. Beaker in offensive rebound, gets stripped going back up. Jordan steals it away for the Pioneers. Jordan into the front court. Stop and start move. Gets down the right side of the lane. Tosses up a leaner. No. Odusipe the board. Whistle foul. He shoves off on Ben Beaker. Basket does not count for Akeem Odusipe. And the big man has picked up his second. Team sixth. Foul trouble for JT Burton's post. Travis Pujo's been on the bench for a minute. And now the top man off the bench. From the paint players, Akeem Odusipe picks up his second. 32-9, Eagles by 23. Neither team's made a shot from the field in the last two and a half minutes. Zhao, bounce feed, Beaker right elbow. Beaker, ball on the floor once, hands off Browder. Pulling down the right side of the lane, takes it in, swoops it in off the window with the right hand. Seven for Jack Browder. 34-9, Eagles up by 25. Their biggest lead of the night. 17-2, the run for Carson Newman. Pioneers with it front court. Between the rings, Jacob Hobbs. Dribble handoff for Jordan, right point. Jordan, chest pass, left point, Taylor. Taylor, dribble handoff for Crump, left wing, tend to shoot. Crump splits two defenders, gets into the paint, zips a pass into the left corner. Here's a catch three from Jackson. Jackson knocks it down. Bryce Jackson buries the first three and a half for the Pioneers and makes it a 22-point game. 34-12 with 3.44 to play in the first half. Eagles with it front court. Browder, left wing with the rock. Motions with his left hand, moves right around the screen to the free throw line. Gets it to Zhao right corner. Pumps takes the three, drives baseline, drops it off Browder. Loose ball, stripped. Hobbs comes away with it right block. Eagles turn it over for a sixth time this half. Pioneers bring it left to right. Crump hits Hobbs, cutting left of the lane. Teardrop won't go down. 
Offensive rebound. Put back. No from Taylor. Beaker the rebound. Whistle foul. On whom? I believe Hobbs. Yes, that is the case. Jacob Hobbs with his first. The team's seventh. It'll be one and one for Ben Beaker when we come back. 3-14 to go in the first half. Sensational defense for Carson Newman. Eagles have first forced nine first half turnovers and are limiting the Pioneers to 20.8% shooting in the opening stanza. We're back to Greenville after these messages on the Eagles Sports Network. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at Trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! 3.14 3.14 to go in the first half. 34-12. Carson Newman leading Tusculum. Eagles have put together a 15-2 run and a 17-2 run. Bolstered by elite defense. Carson Newman's turned over Tusculum nine times. And the Eagles have a 16-3 advantage in points off turnovers. Ben Beaker, 1-1. One one, knocks down the first free throw. To stretch the lead back to 23. 35-12 with 3.14 to go in the first half. One more free throw for Ben Beaker. Lines it up. Missed it off the back iron. Connor Jordan chases down the rebound on the left baseline. And Jordan brings it across the timeline for the Pioneers. His team down 23. Pioneers have trailed by as many as 25. That came on the heels of a 17-2. Carson and run. Hobbs right baseline. Jumper from 10. Won't go down. Browder boxes out Taylor for the rebound for the Eagles. Carson and races front court. Hubbard, Euroing all the way to the hole. Puts it up and in with the right hand. Strong take for Trey Hubbard. He's got four. 37-12. Eagles match their biggest lead of the night at 25. 2.40 to play in the opening half. Pioneers front court. Loose ball. Lost by Jackson. Scooped up by Beaker in the middle of the lane. Gets it to Hubbard who brings it front court for the Eagles. Hubbard. Gets it to Beaker right point. Chest pass. Browder right wing. Left around a Beaker screen. Flashes open for a three. Bang! Bang! Jack Browder! 40-12. to 12. Carson Newman up by 28. It's a 23-5 eagle run. Pioneers with it front court. 2.06 to play in the first half. Crump right wing for Jordan at the left point. Bounce feed inside for Taylor. Spins in on Beaker. Right hand lamp. Good off the glass. 40 to 14. Eagles by 26. That halts Carson Newman's 6 0 run. Carson Newman works it right to left with 105 seconds left in the first half. Beaker at the head of the key. Turns. Bounce into the corner. Nobody home. Trey Hubbard faked the cut. Faked out Ben Beaker. He was turning over for a seventh time this half. 40 to 14. Eagles by 26. 96 seconds left in the opening stanza. 2 2 1. Full court pressure for Carson Newman. Jamari Marshall breaks it across the timeline. Right side for the Pioneers. Marshall between the rings. Splits two defenders. Gets into the lane. Loops it out to Jordan left wing. Jordan right around a Marshall screen. Free throw line. Pull up. 15 footer. Might have been blocked by Hubbard. Hubbard's got the rebound. Up the left sideline, Dyer. Dyer. No look pass. Brennigan left block. Couldn't finish. He was falling away. Didn't have enough juice on it. Pioneers the board. Bringing it left to right. Jordan. Spins around. Hits Marshall at the right point. Marshall down to the right block. Can't hit the layup. But Taylor cleans it up with a tip drill jam. 40 to 16. Eagles by 24. 52 seconds left in the opening half. 
Carson Newman on to the offensive end. Crowder over to left wing, Nick Brennigan. Drives inside on Jordan. Leaps, passes Dyer, right point, extra pass, Pilford by Jackson. Jackson running to the rim, blocked from behind by Ren Dyer. Crowder the board, he gets shoved from behind. Ren Dyer, another highlight reel, chase down block. Josiah Morris picks up his second personal. Free throws on the other end for Jack Browner, one and one. 40 to 16, Eagles leading. 34.7 34.7 seconds left in the first half. One and one for Jack Browder. Ten first half of point, points apiece for Browder and John Zhao to lead all scores. Browder's front end rims out left side. Taylor snares the rebound. That stops a string of 13 straight makes at the stripe for Jack Browder. Four second different shot clock to game clock. Marshall goes right wing, Jordan, pull up. Long two from the right elbow, good from 17. 40 to 18, Eagles by 22. Tusculum scored the last six. Carson in front court, the Eagles can play for the final possession of the first half, and Chuck Benson calls for time. Carson Newman will have two timeouts left in the second half. Pioneers have scored six straight to make it a 22 point game. Eagles haven't scored in two minutes. Eagles have kept Tusklam to 25% shooting in the opening half and a 1 of 5 effort from 3. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. 40-18, Eagles leading Tusculum with 10 seconds left in the first half. Carson Newman hasn't scored in two minutes, trying to stop a 6-0 Pioneer run. Heading into the halftime break. Browder triggers into the backcourt to Trey Hubbard. 10 seconds left. Hubbard into the front court, 6-5. and five. Hubbard accelerates on Marshall, gets to the right baseline, flips it out, intercepted by Jordan. One second, Jordan, half-court heave, short. And that is how the first half comes to a close. There's one complaint for Carson Newman, a little sloppy with ball control in the final 10 minutes of the first half. Pioneers do close the half on a 6-0 run, but the Eagles carry a 40-18 lead into the halftime locker room on the the strength of a 24-5 scoring run from... The 12-minute mark to the 226 mark. And Pioneers do get the final say in the first half with that 6-0 run. Again, this is a Tusculum team that has come from behind it by 19 against the nationally ranked UNC Pembroke team and by 12 against Anderson. So uh, JT Burton's team's never out of it. ChopSeeingEagles.com halftime report. Head your way when we come back after this on the Eagles Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. Looking to make your home more comfortable and affordable? Maybe a new electric heat pump or new attic insulation? And don't forget new doors and windows. AEC is here to help. We've got a quality contractor network, easy financing, and ANC inspects every job to assure the highest quality satisfaction. Visit our website at aecoop.org for application, contractor list, and more details. AEC, where power with purpose. It's halftime. We'll head back to the arena for the ShopCNEagles.com halftime report in just 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. 
Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear is ShopSeaEagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. ShopSeaEagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. ShopSeaEagles.com. It's halftime. Your first half scoring summary and a check of the shopcneagles.com sack scoreboard are headed your way. Corner, Chow, catch three. Nylon for Chow. Eagles lead. Now back to the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. A defensively dominant first half of basketball for Carson Newman against Tusculum. The Eagles lead it 40-18 to at the halftime break. First time that Carson Newman has held a team under 20 points in a... Uh, in a half of basketball since the first half at Mars Hill last year. Carson Newman limited the Lions to 20 points on February 8, 2023. Tusculum has 18 in this first half as Carson Newman has built a 40-18 halftime lead. Eagles led by as many as 28 in the first half. Credit Tusculum, though. A 6-0 run for the Pioneers over the final two minutes of the half. As Carson Newman went scoreless over the final 226, three turnovers. The culprit for that for Carson Newman. Eagles have done it with good balance. Jack Browder, Nick Brennigan, and John Zhao are outscoring Tusculum by themselves. They've got 29. Browder and Zhao both have 10. Nick Brennigan has nine for Carson Newman, and they have all been hyper-efficient in getting there. Jack Brown are on double-double watch for a third straight game with ten points and five boards in the first half. Bryce Jackson, leading scorer for Tusculum. He has six points. Raquan Taylor has four, and nobody else has more than that. Uh, so Carson Newman has really done a fine job defensively on Tuslam. Ten first-half turnovers for the Pioneers. Eagles a 19-3 edge in points off turnovers. Carson Newman is plus six on the glass. And the Eagles have just as many offensive rebounds as the Pioneers. 5-5 five, five apiece. Despite Carson Newman shooting 52% from the field compared to 26%. For Tusculum, all that adds up in a big way to a 40-18 lead for Carson Newman at the halftime break. Plenty of action around the South Atlantic Conference. We'll take you through that. ShopCNEagles.com scoreboard update. Head your way after this on the Eagles Sports Network. If you're looking for official Eagle merchandise, look no further than the Carson Newman Bookstore. With a large selection of Carson Newman gifts and apparel, you're sure to find something to please the entire family. From stuffed eagles to towel sets, sweatshirts, shorts, hats, and slippers, we literally have you covered from head to toe. We have just the item you're looking for no matter what the season. So whether you're an Eagle student, parent, alumni, or fan, shop us for everything orange and blue. Call 865-471-3539 for more information and store hours. We'll see you at the Carson Newman Bookstore. 
This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. A check of the shopcneagles.com SAC scoreboard is next. This is the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. The Eagle Sports Network is part of SAC Live, the official digital network of the South Atlantic Conference. SAC Live is the home of all your South Atlantic Conference sports action, including 20 SAC championships. Time to get caught up with some SAC action. Here are the happenings around the South Atlantic Conference and the nation. Let's go around the league with a ShopCNEagles.com scoreboard update. Now back to the arena. Back courtside at Pioneer Arena. Adam Cavalier, happy to have you along where Carson Newman leads Tusculum. 40 to 18 at the halftime break. Elsewhere in the Carson Newman Athletic family, the women's basketball team rolled 96 to 57 over the Pioneers earlier today. Tori Rutherford with a triple double, 13 points. 10 boards and 11 assists. First triple-double for the women's basketball program in a decade. J.J. McLaughlin had the last one in the quarterfinals of the SAC tournament in 2014. So Carson Newman's women now have won five straight, heading into a big showdown Saturday against Anderson. Earlier today, Carson Newman football in the news. Ashley Ingram named the program's 20th head coach. He joins Carson Newman after 16 years as an assistant at Navy. You can watch his introductory press conference on the Eagle Sports Network YouTube channel at Carson Newman TV. Highly encourage you to check out that if you want 18 minutes to get some fire flowing through your veins. Elsewhere in the South Atlantic Conference, in men's basketball action, one game is final. UVA Wise had the early game against Emory and Henry on the road at the King Center. Cavs prevail by two, 77 to 55 over the uh, Wasps. UVA Wise staves off a, a late. Rally from the Wasps and withstood a three from Gabe Brown at the horn that would have won it. So UVA Wise in the win column with a W over the Emory and Henry Wasps on the road. We do not have a score update from Wingate and Coker, nor do we have a score update from Anderson and Catawba and Lenore Ryan though does lead Mars Hill at the halftime break 37 to 25 Bears shooting 40% from the field while limiting the Lions to 36% shooting Chase Smith has 13 
for the Bears to lead all scores. Newberry in Eliezer Arena playing host to the Limestone Saints. Tight one in the Palmetto State. 3.38 to go in the first half. Limestone leads it 26-25. to The Saints' torrid shooting has not carried over. In fact, Sir Hughes hasn't even played for Limestone. Go figure that one out. Made seven of seven threes against the Eagles. Did, I didn't see him get hurt on Saturday. He hasn't played. Zeb Graham, though, does have 11 on four of seven shooting to lead all scores. Both teams shooting 40% from the field. The difference, Saints are 4 of 14 from beyond the arc. Newberry, 0 of 4. Second half action. Head your way when we get back after this on the Eagles Sports Network. How do you show your support for Carson Newman? Head over to ShopSeenEagles.com right now where they have all of your needs covered. From clothing to outfitting your tailgate party, whether you're hunting, fishing, or on the golf course, ShopSeenEagles.com is the place for you. All of your everyday essentials from pens to phone chargers are in one place. For the best gear in the business, visit ShopSeenEagles.com today. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. This is Carson Newman Basketball. Goes top of the key. Pull up three. On the way. Got it. Charlie Clark. Dialing long distance with impunity. On the Eagles Sports Network. Trilight is proud to support Carson Newman Athletics. We salute the student athletes who are working hard to make great things happen on the field, in the classroom, and in the world. It takes vision, commitment, and teamwork, qualities we share at Trilight. Our mission is to provide life-changing opportunities by building a world-class fiber broadband network. If you'd like to learn more, please visit trilight.net or call us at 833-847-0824. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Starting the second half a little early, Tusculum turns it over on the opening possession. A bounce feed inside for Pujol. Whips through his hands, goes out of bounds on the baseline, and it's Carson Newman ball against a little full-court pressure from the Pioneers. Trey Hubbard will get it ahead to Nick Brennigan and break it. Left wing three on the way. Front of the 10 won't go down. Rebound snared by Crump. 40-18 Eagles leading at the start of the second half. Carson Newman hasn't scored, though since the two-and-a-half-minute mark of the first half. Pioneers on a 6-0 run. Connor Jordan, left elbow, flips it out to the right point for Crump. Crossover on Brennigan, steps it out to Jordan, left point. Jordan in the paint, twirls around, leaps and passes for Crump, head of the key. Eight to shoot. Crump accelerates down the right side lane, stops right baseline, fading, tough two, got it from 15. Eight straight for the Pioneers, spanning the halftime break. It's a 40-20 to lead for the Eagles with a 19-05 to play. In the second half, full court pressure on for the Pioneers. Trey Hubbard will break it, get it ahead to Brennigan, left corner. High low lob, jaw left block. Jaw backs it out for John Zhao. Right into the paint, Zhao takes it up on Pujol. Hits it high off the glass. Count it, and one. Strong take for John Zhao, and he puts an immediate third personal on Travis Pujol. First on the Pioneers. First Carson Newman bucket in three and a half minutes. Back to a 22-point lead. 42-20 with 18-49 to play in the second half. That's 12 for Zhao. He leads all scores. Zhao, and one free throw. Rattles it in. 43-21, 20. 
Carson Newman by 23 with 18.45 to go in the second half. Pioneers bring it right to left. Jordan between the rings. It's Crump on the left wing. Crump, bounce feed for Hobbs, left point. Hobbs, back around to Jordan, right wing. Jordan, crossover, steps right, long two, right elbow, no. Jaw tips the rebound to Jack Browder underneath the basket. And Browder will race front court. Browder, harassed by Hobbs. Hobbs reaches in, gets called for a foul. Second on Hobbs, second on the Pioneers. 43-20, Carson Newman leading. 18-19 to go in the second half. Eagles have led by as many as 28 in this one. That came after a 24-5 Carson Newman run over a 10-minute stretch in the first half. Browder gets it into the right corner for Nick Brennigan. Lob jaw stolen away by Peugeot. Peugeot behind the back brings it front court up the left sideline. Gets it into Crump's hands left wing. Crump flips it between the rings. Jordan around to the right wing. Hobbs. Hobbs splits two defenders. Backs out right corner. Morris catch three. Missed it long. Peugeot an offensive board left baseline. For Crump left wing. His catch three. Off the mark. Whistle foul on Carson Newman. A hook called on John Zhao. His first. First on the Eagles. And so... Tusculum gets the ball out of bounds to the left of the basket. Crump lobs in. John Zhao intercepts it. Zhao off to the races. Down the right side of the lane. He's fouled. Takes it in. Count it. And one. The Dragon unleashed. A strong take to the rack for John Zhao. Hoop plus harm on Hobbs. His third and the team's third. Back to a 25-point Carson Newman lead, 45-20. to 20. Zhao with 15, heads back to the stripe. And one free throw, left it short. That's his first miss on his eighth attempt. 45-20, lead holds for Carson Newman, 17-47 to play in the second half. Jordan into the paint, fading, free throw line, missed it off the back iron. Zhao the rebound. Zhao races front court. Crossover to get by Marshall. Gets Browder. Left corner. Three. Front of the 10. Won't go down. Hobbs the backside board. Right baseline. Tusculum runs the other way. Marshall spins around. Gets it to Jordan right wing. Jordan motions with his left hand. Hits Marshall left point. Marshall long two. Left wing. Cans it from 18. Jamari Marshall has his first points. 45-22. Eagles by 23. 17-10 to play first half. Brennigan right wing. Spot up three. Front of the 10, won't go down. Peugeot, the board left block. Tusklum races right to left. Jordan in transition. Spins around, right elbow, pull up, 15-footer, rattles it in. 45-24, lead cut to 21. Full court pass ahead, Brennigan goes into Peugeot. Peugeot gets called for his fourth foul. And now he gets attacked. He's done. Threw the ball at Nick Brennigan. What a turn of events. So you got a common foul on Peugeot, the fourth and then a technical foul on Peugeot, the fifth. Fourth and 15 fouls on the Pioneers. Four free throws coming for Nick Brennigan. Two technical free throws, followed by two regular free throws. Nick Brennigan, one of the sweatiest human beings on planet Earth, gets a towel from the bench to mop up some perspiration, and I mean that. You f- go sit in a chair after Nick Brennigan at practice, mistake. First technical free throws through, nothing but net. 46-24, Eagles by 22. Second technical free throw for Nick Brennigan. Lines it up, left it short. Brennigan with 10, third Eagle into double figures. Brennigan, Browder, and John Zhao have combined for 35 points. They have single-handedly outscored Tusklum. And now you get two regular old free throws for Nick Brennigan. 46-24, Eagles. Brennigan. First free throw, nothing but strings. InterDigital strives to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, graphic design, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. Brennigan buries the third out of four. 
It's a 48-24 lead for the Eagles. Doubling up the Pioneers with 16.44 to go in the second half. Pioneers with it front court. Marshall out to Jackson right wing. Left hand dribbles. Left around the Hobbs screen. Back to Hobbs right point. He tries a triple. Back iron no. Long rebound for Marshall. Spins in. Can't hit the leaner from 10 feet out, but he draws a foul. Charge this to whom? Jack Browder. His first, team second. Marshall in the act of shooting. Where he is, and he will head to the line where he is 0 for 2 this season. 16.30 to play, second half, 48-24. Eagles leading the Pioneers. Marshall bends the knees, first free throw. Spins off right side, no good. 0 for 3 to start the season. Trilight is your home team internet provider. Taking care of Jefferson City with ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband. Let them serve you. Visit trilight.net. Marshall, second free throw. Nothing but net. In comes T.J. Printup to replace Jacob Hobbs. It's a 48-25 lead for Carson Newman. Difference in this one, a 24-5 first half run for the Eagles. And elite high-end defense for Carson Newman. Eagles limiting the Pioneers to 28.9% shooting. Long pass ahead to John Zhao. Breaks Tusculum's press. Zhao thought about spotting up for a right point three. Backs it out as Jackson guards him man to man. Zhao driving inside all the way to the hole. Can't get the roll over Adusipe. Rebound punched out. Jackson takes it away right baseline for the Pioneers. Jackson racing front court. All the way to the hole. Blocked from behind by Jack Browder. I think he got him with the wrist. Jackson to the line to shoot two. Who do they charge it on? They do charge it to Jack Browder. Chance it could have gone to Usman Ja. Second on Browder. Third on the Eagles. Two free throws for Bryce Jackson. Jackson's Mr. Automatic. 26 of 29 at the stripe this season. Jackson bends the knees. Right, he puts up the first. Missed it off to the right. Just the fourth miss this season for Bryce Jackson. On 30 attempts. One more free throw and a chance to make this a 22-point game. Jackson bends the knees. Free throws in, nothing but strings. 48-26, Eagles by 22. 16-07 to play in the second half. Full court pressure on for the Pioneers. Trey Hubbard will race front court for the Eagles. Hubbard takes it to the right wing. Moves left around a jaw screen to the free throw line. Hits Zhao right wing. Jow moses inside to the right baseline. Backs it out to Jow right wing. Hands off Nick Brennigan. Curling around a screen that moved. Usman Jaw called for the moving screen. That'll be his first. Team's fourth. And bring us to a break in the action. 15-52 to play in the second half. Carson Newman, 48. Tusculum, 26. Back to Greenville after these messages. This is the Eagle Sports Network. How do you show your support for Carson Newman? Head over to ShopSeenEagles.com right now where they have all of your needs covered. From clothing to outfitting your tailgate party, whether you're hunting, fishing, or on the golf course, ShopSeenEagles.com is the place for you. All of your everyday essentials from pens to phone chargers are in one place. For the best gear in the business, visit ShopSeenEagles.com today. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. 15.52 to go in the second half. Carson Newman leads Tusculum. 48-26. to 26. Eagles trying to snap a five-game losing streak to the Pioneers, and they have been loaded for bear defensively in this one, limiting Tusculum to 28% shooting. Pioneers with the ball out of the break, trailing by 22. This was the halftime margin even so far through the first four minutes of the second half. 
Left baseline, a drive for Jackson. Gets to the hole. Right hand won't finish. Beaker went in to grab the rebound. And Jack Browder then had to save it in. It's touched out of bounds. Tuscal pleading, saying, no, it's our ball. And, yes, the officials reverse it. Actually, just trying to get the ball up the floor. After Ben Beaker, he was like a hockey goalie covering it. You can't freeze the, the puck that way in basketball. Pioneers a second chance here. Marshall down the middle of the lane, gets into Ben Beaker. Beaker goes straight up. And he's frustrated. And he gets called for a foul here. It's the third on Beaker. Fifth team foul on Carson Newman. 48-26, Eagles by 22. 15-19 to go in the second half. First free throw from Marshall. Knocks it down. Chance to make it a 20-point game. Eagles haven't made a shot from the field in the last two and a half minutes, but they are four of six at the stripe in that stretch. Second free throw. Marshall converts. 20-point game. 48-28. Eagles leading. 15-19 to go in the second half. Trey Hubbard fouled as he gets it into the front court by Jamari Marshall. JT Burton out to the hash. Officials say no. He, he hit him in the face. Marshall's first, the team's sixth. So we've got free throws the rest of the way for Carson Newman. And pretty close for the Eagles putting the Pioneers in the bonus as well. Carson Newman on five team fouls. Rendire inbounds to Trey Hubbard. He sets up Carson Newman offensively. Hubbard right wing. Chest pass left point. Browder into the left wing for Nick Brennigan. Finds Jaw ahead of the key. Jaw, one dribble, hands off Hubbard right point. Hubbard right around to Jaw, screen to the right block. Tosses up right hand to your drop. Got it, nothing but net from six feet out. Six points for Trey Hubbard. Lead back to 22 for the Eagles. 50 to 28 with 14.50 to go in the second half. Pioneers with it front court. Jordan, right wing with the rock, hits Marshall at the head of the key. Jab step, Marshall pulls from deep, missed it front of the 10. Odusipe with the rebound, touches out to Marshall right wing. Marshall flicks it inside, Jack Browder intercepts the pass. The Eagles get it into Trey Hubbard's hands, who goes behind the back to weave front court. Hubbard to the free throw line, back to the basket, lost it. Jackson the steal. Jackson running to the rim, Jackson throws it down, count it, and one. Bryce Jackson with nine points. He has the jam and a foul on Rendire. His second, team sixth. Three throws the rest of the way. That's Tusklam's first made basket in two and a half minutes. 50 to 30, Eagles by 20. 14 22 to go in the second half. And now Bryce Jackson to the line for the and one free throw. Jackson's freebie is through. Jackson. And Ren Dyer and T.J. Printup tied up. Chuck Benson pleading with the officials to get the game under control. Jack Browder ahead to Usman Ja left baseline. The Eagles will get into their half-court set. Jack Browder for Nick Brennigan at the right point. Brennigan left around to Ja screen, gets into the paint. Brennigan dribbling back out right wing, steps back for a three. Brennigan swirls it home. Nick Brennigan's buried four triples. He's got 15 to pace the Eagles, and Carson Newman pushes it back to a 22-point game. 53-31 with 13.50 to go in the second half. Pioneers onto the offensive end. Jackson right wing. Between the legs, pulls up, long two over top of Brennigan, off the mark. Jaw the rebound. Eagles sprint left to right. Hubbard into the front court for Carson Newman. Gets it to Browder left wing into the left corner for Ren Dyer. Chest pass, jaw ahead of the key. One dribble, hands off Nick Brennigan. Catch three on the way. Shred the strings, Nick Brennigan. 18 for the younger Brennigan bro. 56-31, Eagles by 25. Tusculum looking for an answer. They've got it. Jamari Marshall buries the three from the left wing. His first make from deep this season. 56-34, Eagles by 22. Trey Hubbard fouled in the backcourt by T.J. Printup. It's the first on Printup. Seventh on the Pioneers. Let's go 75 feet the other way for free throws. First Bank is the official bank of Carson Newman Athletics and the only place you can get a Carson Newman Eagles debit card. Stop by any First Bank location to get your Carson Newman debit card and show 
your Eagles pride. One and one situation for Trey Hubbard. You've got Hubbard, Brennigan, Dyer, Browder, and Usman Ja on the floor for Carson Newman. Tusklam counters with Jackson, Marshall, Hobbs, Odusipe, and Thunderbird. Front end of the one and one for Hubbard is through nothing but nylon. He's got seven. Up to a 23-point lead for the Eagles. 57-34. to 13-08 to play in the second half. One more free throw for Trey Hubbard. Lines it up. Didn't get the charity roll off the front iron. Rims out right side. And Jamari Marshall grabs the rebound and brings it up the left sideline. 57-34, Eagles leading. Pioneers front court. Marshall, a drive. He gets fouled. Off the left side, Marshall to the line to shoot two after Usman Ja collects his second. And the seventh on the Eagles. I would presume this is what we're going to get a heavy dose of down the stretch run with this game. Tusklam trying to get to the basket, get fouled, and score with the clock stopped. Jamari Marshall will shoot two. He's got eight points. First three throws in, nothing but net. Marshall came into this game with six points on the season. All six points came against North Georgia on November 21st. He's got nine tonight after he makes the first free throw. Second free throws in nothing but net. Career-high ten-point game for Jamari Marshall. 57-36, Eagles by 21 with 12.53 to play in the second half. Full-court pressure on for the Pioneers. Eagles break it. Nick Brennigan, left corner, wide open look from deep. Splash! Nick Brennigan makes the Pioneers pay with his sixth made three. Eagles by 21. Er, Brennigan with 21. Eagles by 24. 60 to 36. Pioneers the other way. Marshall pull up. Right elbow J. No. Dyer the rebound. And he'll bring Carson in front court leading by 24. Dyer start and stop. Move down the right side of the lane. Zip it. Jaw. Jaw throws it down with two hands. Elite feed from Ren Dyer. Quality two hand finish for Usman Jaw. 62 36. Back to a 26 point lead for Carson Newman with 12 10 to play in the second half. Tusklam with it front court. Hobbs right wing. Out to the head of the key for Jamari Marshall. Over to Funderburk left wing 10 to shoot. Funderburk right around the screen. Feeds Hobbs cutting to the cup. Hobbs throws it down with two hands after getting around Dyer. 62 38. Eagles by 24. 11.50 to play in the second half. Carson in front court. Browder drops it off for Jaw left baseline. Around a Hubbard left wing. Hubbard. Right around the Jaw screen to the free throw line. Accelerates into Odusipe. Odusipe blocks his shot. It's out of bounds and stays with Carson Newman. Breaking the action. 11.37 to play in the second half. Carson Newman well on its way to beating Tusculum for the first time since March of 2021. Eagles up 32, or 62 to 38 on the Pioneers. We're back to Greenville after these messages. This is the Eagle Sports Network. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your e Tennessee electrical contracting source. 11.37 to play in the second half. Carson Newman used a 24-5 run in the first half to build out a big bulge, and the Eagles have maintained it. Leading 62-38. Midway point of the second stanza. Carson Newman's led their rival Tusculum by as many as 28. Eagle ball out of the break. Satterfield between the rings with nine to shoot. Takes it over to the left wing. Picked up man-to-man by Marshall. Satterfield accelerating right of the paint. Drop it off Beaker. Turns, spins left, right hand as the shot clock expires. Barely draws iron. Hobbs the rebound left of the lane. 
to the white clad Pioneers. Tusklum with it front court. Eagles shooting 53% from the field for this game and 47% from three while limiting Tusklum to 31% shooting. Funderburg out of the key with the basketball. Flips it over to Jackson left wing. A lob to Odusipe. Left block. Turns in on Beaker. Right hand flick. Won't fall. Beaker boxes out the shooter for the rebound. Head to Satterfield. Outlet it to Zhao. Lands. Touch pass. Brennigan. Right corner. Catch three. Short off the front of the 10. Nearly pure. Jackson the rebound. A water bottle flew onto the floor from Carson Newman's bench. Mops have been called out. Mop is inactive. Well, we're just going to play. All right. 62-38. Eagles lead. Pioneer ball. Marshall between the rings for the Pioneers. Flip it to Otis Sipe at the free throw line. Backs down Beaker. Turns. Right hook. Got it from six feet out over the sack logo. 62-40. Eagles by 22. 10-30 to play in the second half. Eagles bring it front court. Zhao, left point. Jackson guards him man-to-man. For Beaker at the right point. Finds Zhao, cutting right baseline. Kick out, left corner, intercepted by Hobbs. Gets it into Jackson's hand. Zip it, left corner, Funderburg. Funderburg drives inside on Beaker, tosses up with two hands, and kisses it in off the glass. 62-42, Eagles by 20. Carson Newman hasn't scored in two minutes. The Eagles will bring it left to right with a 20-point lead. Satterfield into the front court. Satterfield, oh, got baited. Satterfield did not make contact with Jamari Marshall, who, with the force of a thousand suns, was propelled backwards by Satterfield. And Satterfield gets called for the offensive foul. Hard luck for Jarius, his first and the team's eight. Pioneers in the middle of a 6-0 run, looking to keep it up. Odusipe gets it inside, turns, left-hand baby hook over Beaker. No. Rin Dyer grabs the rebound, and the Eagles sprint left to right. Dyer ahead to Satterfield, left corner. Gets the Eagles into their half-court set, and Carson Newman will burn time. Beaker, left elbow. Hands off Nick Brennigan, curling, left wing, wide open look from deep. Back iron, no. Hobbs the rebound, left baseline. Flips it up the left sideline to Jackson, who races front court for the Pioneers. Jackson in the paint, free throw line, Jay, good from 15. Eight in a row for Tusculum. 62-44, 62-44, Eagles by 18, 9-10 to go in the second half. Nick Brennigan gets it to Jarius Satterfield in the backcourt, picked up man-to-man by Jamari Marshall. Satterfield over the timeline, right side, dribbles with the right hand, moves left between the rings and goes left wing to Ren Dyer. For Beaker at the left point, over to Zhao, right point. Zhao for Satterfield, right corner, 12 on the shot clock. Back up top, Beaker for Brennigan, curling. Brennigan down the right side of the lane, pivots, hits Beaker left block. Beaker spins, right hand, baby hook, no good off the back iron. Jackson the rebound. Eagles haven't scored in three minutes. Pioneers race right to left. Bounce over to Funderburk right wing. From Marshall between the rings. Tusklum sets up in the half-court offense. Marshall, bounce it over to Hobbs right wing. Hobbs motions with his left hand, 13 to shoot. Found a Funderburk left wing. He tries a triple. Halfway down and out, Dyer the rebound. Up the left sideline to Jarius Satterfield, ahead to Brennigan left wing. Brennigan drives baseline, draws a foul. Doesn't get the NBA continuation. Nick Brennigan will head to the line after the foul on Funderburk. His first, team's eight. One and one for Nick Brennigan. 62 to 44, Eagles by 18. Nick Brennigan will try to stop a four-minute scoring drought for Carson Newman. It's been an 8-0 pioneer run in the interim. Eagles have missed their last five shots from the field. Brennigan, a couple bounces. Front end of the one and one. Rattles off right side. No good. Their second miss for Nick Brennigan in this game. He's 3 of 5 at the line. Lead holds at 18 for the Pioneers. They turn her over. Zhao a steal. Zhao running left side of the lane. Zhao dumps it in off the glass. John Zhao did that one all by himself. He's got 17. 64-44. Eagles by 20. Stopping a four and a half minute scoring drought and an 8-0 Pioneer run. Back to a 20 point lead for the Eagles with 7.48 to play in the second half. Tusculum front court. Jordan left wing. Right around an Odusipe screen. Jordan pulls up, left elbow, 15-footer, got the roll. Left iron, backboard, right iron, back iron, down through the nylon. 
64-46, Eagles by 18. 7.30 to play in the second half. That's just Jordan's sixth point of the night. Came in leading the team with 13. Beaker right of the paint, hits Zhao cutting. Back to Beaker, middle of the lane, lost the handle on it, loose ball. Beaker grabs it. Beaker calling for time. You got a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Eagles. 12 to shoot for Carson Newman when we come back. 7-16 to go in the second half. Carson Newman 64. Tusculum 46. Eagles leading their rivals by 18 on the road. Back after these messages on the Eagles Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at Trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! 7.16 to go in the second half. 64-46, Carson Newman leading Tusculum. Eagles trying to stop a five-game losing streak to the Pioneers. And in control thanks to a dominant defensive effort. Carson Newman's limited the Pioneers to 34.6% shooting. And built a what's been as large as a 28-point lead with a 24-5 first half run. Eagle ball out of the break. Brennigan over to Hubbard, left point, nine to shoot. Hubbard gets it back to Brennigan, left point, five and four. Brennigan left around a jaw screen, accelerates, bounces, jaw, euroing, jaw off the backboard, nothing else. Jackson grabs the rebound for the Pioneers. Jackson hits Crump, who brings it across the timeline, center court for Tusculum. Pioneers down 18, but they've scored 10 of the last 12 points in this game after trailing by 26. Crump pull up, left wing, long two, switches it. 64-16, or 64-48, Eagles by 16. 6.40 to play in the second half. Eagles race front court. Hubbard all the way to the hole. Right hand scoop shot, high off glass and down through the strings. Trey Hubbard with an answer point. 66-48, Eagles by 18, 6.26 to play second half. Pioneers with it front court. Between the rings, Crump. Crump, chest pass over to Jordan right wing. Jordan. Left around an Odusipe screen, accelerates left block, teardrop up, no. Rebound punched by Browder, taken by Zhao for the Eagles. Zhao into the front court, hits Browder, running the lane. Browder finger rolls at home straight on. Didn't use glass, went through nothing but net. Back to a 20-point lead for the Eagles. 68-48, six-minute mark, second half. Pioneers bring it right to left. Right wing for Jackson, points with his left hand. Sets a screen, takes a three after Odusipe set it, and Jackson connects from range. Bryce Jackson is two of three from deep. He did five threes all year. 68-51, Eagles by 17. They break the Pioneers' press. Jow over to Jaw left baseline. Jaw gets it into Jack Browder's hands, and the Eagles content to milk clock with a 17-point lead and 5.30 to play in the second half. Brennigan, left corner. Gets it to the head, of the head of the key around the Zhao right wing. Over to Hubbard right corner, curling to the head of the key. Nine to shoot. Hilo lob, Zhao. Catches on top of Jordan. Deeks now passes. Left wing, Browder. Catch three. Back iron, no. Long rebound for Jordan. Gets past Hubbard. Jordan racing into the front court. Jordan shot a race from behind by John Zhao. Hits out of bounds and stays with Tusculum. How about John Zhao chase down block on your bingo card? Don't think anybody had that one. And Carson Newman. 68-51 lead on the Pioneers with 5.03 to play in the second. Inbounds comes to Morris in the left corner. Backs it out, Jordan left way. Jordan back into the left corner for Marshall. Drive inside on Browder. Scoop it up with the right hand and good off the window. Marshall with 12. He had six points all season coming into this game. He's doubled up his season output. 
Eagles front court. Hubbard down the right side of the lane. Can't get it to fall. Hubbard got his own rebound. Stick back. No. Foul. One and one for Trey Hubbard. After the foul on Jordan, his first and the team's ninth. 4.43 to go in the second half. Carson Newman 68, Tusculum 53. Pioneers have outscored the Eagles 35-28 after halftime. Tusculum shooting 50% from the field in the second half, and they're plus six on the boards after halftime against the Eagles. Rebounding battle even in this one. Carson Newman number one in the nation in the rebounding margin. Hubbard's front end of the one and one. Short off the front iron. Taylor the board. Eagles shooting two the rest of the way. Pioneers bring it right to left, down by 15. Marshall bounce it into the left corner. Morris stripped by Zhao, out of bounds, stays with Tusculum. So Marshall will inbound from the left corner. Marshall flicks it to Connor Jordan left wing. Jordan. Crosses over, head of the key, straight on three, knocks it down. All of a sudden, the Pioneers are down 12. And now a turnover. Jordan, bounce speed, right baseline, counted and won. Chance for a 6-0 run in a matter of 10 seconds for Tusculum. Not to mention, it's an 8-0 run already. Count the basket and the foul on Jack Browder. His third and the team's ninth. 68-58, down to a 10-point game all of a sudden. Thanks to this 10-0 Pioneer run over the last 90 seconds. And the and one free throw comes from Bryce Jackson. Jackson. And one freebie goes through. Single digit game all of a sudden. Thanks to this 11-0 Pioneer run in 90 seconds. 68-59. Jack Browder running the baseline. Gets it into Nick Brennigan. Brennigan. Over the timeline against Bryce Jackson. Jackson harassing him. Brennigan, right wing with the rock. Jackson cuts him off. Brennigan stumbles. And Jackson going to pick up a foul call. So it's Bryce Jackson's first. The Pioneers' tenth. Two free throws for Nick Brennigan. Darcy Newman, five of ten at the stripe here in the second half. Looking to stop a two-minute Eagle scoring drought and an 11-0 Tusculum run. Chance to stretch the lead back to double digits for Carson Newman. Brennigan. Couple bounces. First free throw. Knocks it down. Nothing but strings. 22 for Nick Brennigan. One more free throw for, for Nick. Chance to make an 11-point game with 4.02 to play in the second half. Brennigan's second free throws through. He's got 23, matching his career high at Wingate last year. 70 to 59, Eagles by 11 with 3.55 to play in the second half. Marshall down the right side of the lane. Teardrops good from the eight feet out. Back to a nine point game. 70 to 61, 3.46 to play in the second half. Browder brings it front court, picked up by Marshall right wing. Gets it between the rings to Zhao and over to Hubbard, left wing. Skip it right wing, Browder. Head of the key, Brennigan. 17 to shoot. Around to Zhao, left wing. Zhao. Ball held at his waist as he's defended by Jackson. Puts the ball on the floor, nine to shoot. Zhao drives. Right hand. Got fouled from behind by Raekwon Taylor. And that will bring us to a break in the action. It is a first personal on Taylor. An 11th team foul on the Pioneers. 3.23 3.23 to play in the second half. Carson Newman, 70. Tusculum, 61. Back to Pioneer Arena after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at Trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? 
well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. 3.23 to play in the second half. Carson Newman 70. Tusculum 61. Eagles led by 28 at one point in this game. Now the Pioneers have put together a couple scoring runs after halftime to trim it to single digits. Eagles by nine with 3.23 to play. And John Zhao at the line for Carson Newman. First free throw on the way. Zhao strokes it. He's got 18. Zhao and Nick Brennigan have combined for 41 in this one. Brennigan, a career-high matching 23. Second free throw for Zhao. Nothing but strings. Back to a 72-61 lead for the Eagles. 11-point edge for Carson Newman with 3.20 to play in the second half from Pioneer Arena. Pioneer's front court. Marshall driving left block. Kick out. Morris, head of the key three. Back iron, no. Browder, the box out right baseline for the Eagles. Gets it to Trey Hubbard, who will walk it over the timeline. Right side picked up by Marshall. It is Zhao between the rings. Zhao accelerating. Euroing to the hole. Right hand scoop. Sensational finish for John Zhao. He's got 21 for his fifth 20-point game this year. By the way, Marshall free throw line. Jay bends in from 15 feet out. JT Burton calls for time. 74-63. Eagles by 11. 2.45 to play in the second half. We step aside for a break. Carson Newman by 11. 74-63 over Tusculum. Trying to snap a five-game losing streak to the Pioneers when we come back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From foot-long hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. 2.45 to play in the second half. Carson Newman leads Tusculum. 74 to 63. Eagles are up 28 at one point. And you always know a JT Burton team is going to fight to the finish. Pioneers have done just that. Used an 11 0 run and an 8 0 run after halftime to get close. Carson Newman holding an 11 point lead with 2.45 to play in the second stanza. Eagles with a 30 and a full left. Pioneers with two 30s and a full left. Jack Browder triggers into Trey Hubbard in the back. No, check that. Pioneers just have one timeout. I forgot JT Burton used a couple in the first half to staunch the bleeding. Eagles bring it front court against the Pioneer. Press. Get it to Nick Brennigan, left wing. Gets by his defender. Zip it, right corner. Trey Hubbard, catch three. Left iron, no. Jack Browder shoved off the miss. And he's going to head to the line after the personal on Josiah Morris. His third, team's 12th. And Carson Newman has done a phenomenal job against Tusculum's starting five in this game. Defensive, def- defense has been the name of the day as Jack Browder buries the first free throw. 75-63 out to a 12-point lead for the Eagles. You look at the starting five of Peugeot, Crump, Hobbs, Morris, and Connor Jordan. Browder goes two for two on that trip. Back out to a 13-point lead. 76-63. to Connor Jordan, the leading scorer among the starters with nine. Marshall left point, three off the mark. Rebound pings off of a couple Eagles. 
Jordan tracks it down at the hash mark. Into the right corner. Morris, catch three, left it short. Jackson, an offensive board, leans in. Can't hit the bunny off of jaw. Whistle foul. Charge ooze with his third. Team's tenth. Two free throws for Tusculum. Trying to finish the thought with the frenetic pace. Tusculum starting five has scored all of 21 points. That's it. Nobody in double figures. Now, credit Bryce Jackson off the bench. Credit Jamari Marshall off the bench. They've combined for 36. Jackson rattles in the first free throw. He's well above his career high that he set against Lander earlier this year of 13. Jackson with 19 as he buries the first free throw. And an efficient 19. He's 6 of 10 from the field. Second free throw from Bryce Jackson. Came in averaging 8 a night. And Jackson buries the second. Back to an 11-point eagle lead. 76-65 with 2.09 to play in the second half. Browder runs the baseline. Looking, looking, triggers into into the corner for Trey Hubbard. Jackson cuts him off. Hubbard races around him, stumbles, somehow didn't travel, and gets it into Jack Browder. Splits two defenders over to Hubbard right wing. Connor Jordan harassing him with pressure defense. Out to Zhao between the rings, and Zhao is fouled by Jamari Marshall. That is the second on Marshall, the 13th foul on the Pioneers. And John Zhao gets a couple free throws. John Zhao, 21 points. Hasn't made a three tonight. He's 0 for 3 from deep. But 9 of 10 at the charity stripe. Make it 10 of 11 as he buries the first. 77 to 65. Eagles by 12. With a buck 53 to go in the second half. Second three free throw for John Zhao. Puts it up, puts it in. Nick Brennigan has 23. John Zhao has 23. They've combined for 46, and the Eagles lead by 13. 78-65 with 107 seconds left in the second half. Pioneers a deflection. Trey Hubbard pokes a pass out of bounds off the far sideline, and it stays with Tusculum. 78-65. Eagles by 13. Pioneers with the ball with 100 seconds left in this one. Jordan, left wing. Curls to the head of the key. Bounce feed inside for a hook shot for Taylor. Can't make that one. Brown to the rebound. On the right baseline, his eighth. Gets it to Trey Hubbard. He will dribble behind his back to bring it front court. Hubbard between the rings. Goes over to Brennigan, left wing. Brennigan. Calls the Eagles into the four corners offense with 75 seconds to play and 12 to shoot. Brennigan initiates the offense on Jackson. Drives. This is Jaw left corner. Hands off Brennigan. Curls in the paint. Leaps. Hits Jaw left lock. Jaw goes in. Can't hit the bunny. Loose ball. Morris can't corral it. Browder can't either. And Taylor comes away with it with a minute left. Pioneers race front court. Morris right corner. Catch three. Front of the 10. No good. Browder tips the rebound up. But it's taken by... Taylor, his hook shots down, won't go down. Ja and Morris tied up. What do you have here? Carson Newman bench loving it, whatever it is. You have a jump ball. You have a foul. I haven't seen a signal yet from the officiating crew. I think it's a jump ball. So Usman Ja will come limping off. Okay, and I've got a cramp in my right leg. 78-65, Eagles by 13. Pioneers have missed their last five shots. Inbounds will come into the backcourt for Jackson with 45 seconds left. Jackson, pull up, straight on three, head of the key, missed it short off the front iron. Rebound snared by Marshall. Takes it up and gets fouled. Charge it to Ren Dyer, his third, and the team's 11. Credit the Pioneers. They've done phenomenal work on the glass after halftime. Plus 10 rebounding margin in the second half. That's probably been 
an area that has helped key a rally. We've also taken much better care of the basketball after halftime as Marshall converts on the first free throw. He's got 17. Only four second-half turnovers for the Pioneers. Tuscal Mount scoring the Eagles 48-38 to after halftime, but the Eagles leading 78-66. to Marshall's second free throws in. 11-point lead for the Eagles, 78-67. Carson Newman led by 28 at times in the first half, by 22 at the break, thanks to that 25-4 run. Nick Brennigan trapped in the backcourt. Jump ball, possession arrow gives it to Carson Newman. The Eagles do have two timeouts in their back pocket. Dusclum has been pressing the entirety of this second half. Jack Browder will inbound. Bounces into Nick Brennigan. Stolen by Marshall. Left corner three. Missed it front iron. Long rebound out to Jordan. Jordan curling around. Left wing. Fires up a three. I don't think Connor Jordan got hit there. John Zhao gets called for a foul. His second. Team's 12. Three free throws with 28 seconds left and a chance to make this an eight-point game. If Connor Jordan can make all three. No, oh, yes, three. There's the three flashed up by the officials. Connor Jordan, 83% at the stripe for the season as he buries the first to make it a 10-point game. Jordan, a career 80% shooter, 201 of 251 at the stripe lifetime. Second of threes through, down to a nine-point game, 78-69 with 28 seconds left. Chance to make it an eight-point game for Connor Jordan. Bends the knees, flips it up. Rims out left side. Jackson, an offensive rebound. Stick back, got it to go. JT Burton calls for time. 78-71. Lead down to seven for Carson Newman. With 26 seconds left. Tusculum's had a couple of these situations here in the second half where they've scored five or six points in a matter of four seconds. And so a reverse four-point play here for the Pioneers results in a 6-0 run in the last 10 seconds to get this down to 7. 78-71 with 26.1 seconds left. Carson Newman has gotten 46 combined points from Nick Brennigan and John Zhao, and it has not been the usual suspects shouldering the load for the Pioneers. Connor Jordan, the team's leading scorer, does have 11 now, nine of which has come in the second half. But he's the only starter in double figures. You've got a career-high 22 for Bryce Jackson and a career-high 18 for Jamari Marshall. And Marshall, a player who came into this game with six points scored all season. He's got 18 tonight. And at Tuscaloosa, they have fought to the end. 26 seconds left. Eagles trying to play sound and solid. Carson Newman has two timeouts left. Tusculum is out of timeouts. Wynn Dyer inbounding. Gets it into Trey Hubbard. He's harassed in the backcourt by Josiah Morris, who's promptly hit with his fourth personal. Team's 14th. No, check that. Not on Morris, it's on Hobbs. It's his fourth. Morris still has three. So Hubbard with two freebies. Eagles haven't hit a shot from the field in the last two and a half minutes. All the points scored in that stretch have come at the charity strike. Hubbard's first free throw on the way. Knocks it down, nothing but net. 79-71. Out to an eight-point lead for the Eagles with 24 seconds left. Morris is in for the Pioneers. One more free throw for Trey Hubbard. Hubbard bends the knees. Second free throw. Rattles out right side. Eight-point lead for the Eagles. 79-71. 20 seconds left. Tusklum hustling. Marshall down the left side of the lane. Lost the handle on it. Browder the steal. Gets it to Nick Brennigan. Brennigan harassed in the backcourt. He's fouled. Two free throws for Nick Brennigan. Charge the personal to K.J. Crump. His second, team's 15th. Two more free throws for Nick Brennigan. And a chance to reset his career high.
Nick Brennigan bends the knees. First free throw, nothing but net. Second free throw. Knocks it down. Ten-point game. Pioneers race front court. Down the right side of the lane goes Marshall. Can't hit the bunny. Jackson tips it in with 6.6 left. 81-73. Pioneers within eight. Eagles look to inbound. Triggered in. Nick Brennigan is promptly fouled. Let's go 75 feet the other way with 5.3 seconds left. As Josiah Morris has fouled out. 16th foul of the half for the Pioneers. They've fouled a bunch to try to extend this game. 81-73, Eagles by eight. 5.3 seconds standing in the way of Carson Newman collecting its first win over Tusculum since March of 2021. Eagles... Moments away from snapping a five-game losing streak to the Pioneers. Their rivals to the east. Brennigan's first free throw on the way and calmly connects. 26 for Nick Brennigan, a new career high for him. 6 of 13 from the field, 6 of 12 from 3, and 8 of 10 from the stripe. Second freebie. Brennigan knocks it down. 10-point game, 83-73. Into Jackson's hands, he raises front court. Pulls up, right point three, missed it front iron. Zhao corrals, buzzer, and ball game. Carson Newman prevails, 83-73 over the Tusculum Pioneers to snap a five-game losing streak against Tusculum, and they do it in dominant defensive fashion, limiting the Pioneers to 37% shooting while forcing 15 turnovers and enjoying a 25-17 edge in points off turnovers. However, the first time all year, Carson Newman loses the rebounding battle. Pioneers win that one 44-37. Domino's postgame report headed your way when we come back after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Grab a slice. Our coverage of CN Hoops continues with the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City has deals for Carson Newman students. Bring in your valid student ID when you order for pickup or delivery, and Domino's in Jefferson City will give you a steaming hot large one-topping pizza for $4.99. That's a large one-topping pizza for Carson Newman students for $4.99 at Domino's in Jeff City. Call 865-471-6700 to order. That's 865-471-6700. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. This is the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagles Sports Network. Bring it back door, long. Dyer throws it in. 
throws it down with two hands. Your Stats Breakdown, a conversation with Chuck Benson, presented by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, plus the selection of the AEC Electrifying Play and Food City Player of the Game are all headed your way. Today's game is also brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics, Inner Digital. IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By Food City, value every day. By Trilight, dream big with gig. By Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Let's head back to the arena and the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. All right, back courtside at Pioneer Arena. Adam Cavalier, happy to have you on hand here on the Domino's Post Game Report as the Eagles prevail over the Tusculum Pioneers by a final score of 83 to 73. Potentially a little bit closer than the Eagles would have preferred but credit JT Burton's teams and they are always going to fight till the finish that's what Tusculum did and they did it without their usual uh, heavy hitters uh, carrying uh, the load it was uh, the supporting cast uh, who got hot for Tusculum uh, to, to power the comeback. But uh, Carson Newman up by 28 in the first half, up by 22 at the halftime break. Uh, Eagles prevail by 10, 83-73 to snap a five-game losing streak <coughs> against the P- Tusculum Pioneers. Here on the Domino's Post Game Report, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson, Charles Exceptional defensive effort, especially yeah. in the first half. I was really your... pleased. I was really pleased with what we did defensively, especially the first half, as you said. Uh, I told our guys at half, you know, no game was won the first half. Uh, and I know uh, Tusculum basketball too well to know that there was no way they were going to just pack it in and, 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 and not fight. And we, we told our guys, hey, we've got to we, – we threw punches. We showed we could throw punches. we got to show we can take some punches in the second half. And I thought we did that for the most part. Uh, do we have some breakdowns? Yes, but it was still enough to come on the road. And, and since you were always so happy to say five straight losses, it just feels refreshing now to be able to say, you know, that, 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 little, that little run is broken. Uh, I'm not happy. <clears throat> I, I, that, I shouldn't have said that. I'm no. not happy. Yeah. To you're, say just, you're just not as miserable as I am. That's correct. <laughs> okay. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Somebody who <laughs> – you're, you're about – I don't know. You're drilling for oil as low as you are. I'm, I'm not that low. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, uh, it, it, the guys that made the comeback for Tusklem, not the usual suspects, yeah. uh, though. Uh, Jamari Marshall had scored six points all year. Uh, he scores 18 tonight. Yeah. Uh, Bryce Jackson was averaging eight a game. He resets his career high with 24. Uh, you willing to give that to take the fact that? A hundred percent. I know. I, we, we had some really specific things. Make the other dudes prove there's something. Period. And they did. So they have good players here. They recruit well. They've got good players. Those kids stepped up. Uh, we know who their their sort of like proven commodities are. We want to try it. We want to try to impact that, and that's very difficult because they have legitimate proven. Uh, successful college basketball players here in that in their in their sort of top three four, uh, and I thought our guys did a really good job of of, of sort of impacting those top tier guys' ability to perform tonight. Uh, starting lineup wise, Connor Jordan, the only guy for the Pioneers in double figures, he had eleven. Uh, you, you greatly impact uh, a Morris. Uh, he didn't make a three for a guy coming in uh, shooting forty four percent from the field. How critical was that aspect of the Huge. game plan? Huge was a big thing. I, I, I think our, I thought our guys follow through uh, with our plan tonight was was was, was top notch. Um, 
but but it was going to take that. You know, I, I thought in our last game uh, against Limestone, we did a bad job of of limiting controllable mistakes, and so we made a big deal about that. Uh, you talking about class? Look what Ren Dyer's mom is doing. Helping break down Tusculum's. <laughs> That's class, a classy lady. Not surprised. And father. And, no, look at this. And, look at this. And Luke Brennigan's father. That, that's the way. Our, that's, that's the way. The, well, that's it's a testament to the kind of people our players' parents are. They raise some good kids. And they're good. They're good folks too. So that, that makes me even more proud uh, to see that. Not as proud as we win, by the way. But still very <laughs> still proud. proud. <laughs> still proud. <laughs> uh, Nick Brennigan resets his career high with 27, <laughs> six of 12 from beyond the arc. Did some really nice things to get open for uncontested shots. Yep. Uh, what keyed his effort? Like you said, he, he knows. That nobody's going to let him sit there and shoot shots. He's got to work really hard. And our players then have got to be sort of on, on the lookout when he gets those 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 small windows uh, for catch shots. Uh, uh, and I'll tell you something else that tonight. I don't know. You know, he, he was in there 40 minutes. I don't think we've played anybody you uh, for 40 minutes since his brother was playing. That's correct. Uh, Luke so, was the last one to do it. You know, uh, we, we, we went all in on him tonight. And clearly, I mean, if, if 40 minutes, what he needs to get 27, trust me, this, <laughs> this will not be the last time we do this. <laughs> Uh, I look forward to uh, some jelly legs here in the not-too-distant future for, for Nick. John Zhao was largely neutralized uh, from behind the arc. First game this season where he fails to uh, make a three-pointer, yep. 0 of 3, but uh, showcased his rim attack game. Yep. What did you see from John? Well, I mean, he's a versatile player, and, I mean, clearly 11 or 12 from the line. Yeah, he, he, he was 0 for from behind one line, but he was <laughs> 98% from behind the other one, so... Um, and you got to have both. You can't have one or the other. And our guys, what we we we, we made significantly more free throws than they have even attempted, which is a big big plus. Uh, so very proud for John that he he has the versatility to score in a variety of ways. Point of fact, and you should know this as the product of a teacher. Uh, Eleven of twelve is ninety one percent, not ninety eight percent. Thanks, but thank you. I stand corrected. And, and you know, that's fine. I'll take any abuse you give me tonight. <laughs> Trust me, you you can't come at me hard enough to get me unraveled right now. <laughs> I'm on cloud ten. So. <laughs> try, try uh, as it, you might. It, it can't happen. You, it will not it happen. Can't happen. Uh, lost the rebounding battle for the first time yeah. tonight. Uh, how much did that key Tusculum's come back after halftime? Well, some of it was they had. I mean, they had a lot of opportunities too. Yeah. You know, they had a lot more opportunities. They they were taking shots, and so they're they're. Uh, the number of opportunities they had to get rebounds was greater. But they're tough and they're determined, and, and they do a good job with that. I mean, I think we're averaging – we're both averaging roughly the same number of offense rebounds a game, around 14. So I knew they were going to do that. There's nothing that they did that second half that surprised me. Yeah. Nothing. What I like is that we were still determined enough and solid and sound enough to maintain our lead and to, to finish it out. Uh, I think it should, it's, it's noteworthy. Uh, against UNC Pembroke, who was a top 25 team, uh, at the time they played them, they came back from 19 against Anderson. They came back from 12 to win both those games. Uh, not atypical for JT Burton coach teams. Absolutely not. To, no. to rally. Tough, I mean, you know, T for Tusculum, T for toughness. I'll give it to them, man. They're, they're tough. They, they're coached hard. They, they compete hard. Uh, and tonight I thought our guys uh, were very resilient, mentally tough, physically tough, and deserved uh, the win that they, that they earned. On the road for uh, a second straight league game. You ha- had to Anderson to take on the Trojans. What do you have to do to improve from this one to get ready for AU and the Abney Center on Saturday? We refer to them in, in the office as the fighting Joe Laravais. Mm, yes. Uh, uh, so former former uh, assistant here that's now on staff there. Uh, very proud of Joe. But, yeah, I mean, we, we know what's ahead. Uh, that's, that's, that's one of the more difficult places to play in this conference. Um, of course, we played them last year w- one time, I believe, only uh, at Holt, mm-hmm. and they got us. Uh, and Jimmy Williams' first year as the head coach, uh, they're, they're, they're good, man. They're good. They, 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 they've got – right now I think they're uh, the number one ranked defense in our conference and one of the best offensive threats. So uh, it's going to take our best. Uh, it's got to take a, another performance like tonight to give ourselves the best chance. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats on an 83-73 win on the road over the Pioneers. Great. Thanks, Kevin. That is Carson Newman, head at men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. His postgame comments brought to you by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. Domino's postgame report rolls on with player interviews from Pioneer Arena after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. 
And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Miss out on tonight's post-game interviews? Check CNEagles.com for stats, recaps, and videos from tonight's games. We close out the Domino's post-game report in 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. TriLight is proud to support Carson Newman Athletics. We salute the student athletes who are working hard to make great things happen on the field, in the classroom, and in the world. It takes vision, commitment, and teamwork, qualities we share at TriLight. Our mission is to provide life-changing opportunities by building a world-class fiber broadband network. If you'd like to learn more, please visit TriLight.net or call us at 833-847-0824. Back on the Domino's Post Game Report with our Food City Player of the Game. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Nick Brennigan. Nick, uh, congratulations to you. You reset your career high uh, with 27. What did it take against a tough tooth and nail Tusculum team to get the Eagles' first wins against the Pioneers since March of 2021? Yeah, just like you said, they're a tough team. They've historically had our number while I've been here. And just going into the game, we had the game plan of Winning the three-point battle, attempting more threes, and just overall being more phys- have winning the physicality, being mentally tough. So I think we did all those three things tonight. Uh, six of twelve for you from beyond the arc. Yep. Uh, felt like you got a ton uh, of open yeah. looks. Uh, just credit to your teammates. Yeah, I mean Trey Hubbard, he's just a jet, and he has so much gravity gravity in the open floor, and it creates rotations. And I was just able to knock down some shots tonight. Uh, defensive effort. Off the charts, yeah. especially in the first half. Yeah. Uh, the only starter who scored in double figures for Tusculum was uh, Connor Jordan. And, mm-hmm. again, credit Tusculum. Yeah. Uh, Bryce Jackson was averaging eight a night and finishes with a career-high 24. Uh, Jamari Marshall had scored six points all year. Yeah. He finishes with, a, obviously, a career-high yeah. uh, 18. What did it take to neutralize a Jordan... Uh, a, uh, a Jacob Hobbs, a Morris, yeah. uh, some pretty steady scores for the Pioneers. Yeah, we going into the game, we knew that Connor Jordan, CB said, is their engine. So if we could neutralize him and ha- make him have a tough night, Morris and Funderburk, they're both elite shooters. So if we could make them struggle to get off a high volume of threes, we, we felt we had a good chance to win tonight. Uh, rebounding. Uh, lose the rebounding battle yeah. for the first time yeah. uh, all season long. How much of that... Uh, Tuscan was plus 13 on the board second half. How much of that keyed their comeback? Yeah, I mean, that's what they're historically known for. I mean, they go to the glass hard. They they play hard. And, yeah, that, that's exactly what fueled their comeback. So we moving forward, we got to bounce back to being ourselves and being an elite rebounding team and just watch the film and learn from it. Turn your attention to another road game, second straight sack road game to yep. close out the league portion of the schedule pre-Christmas. Uh, you head over to Anderson. Yep. Abney Center is always a tough place to yep. play. Uh, what do you have to do to get ready for the Trojans? Yeah, I mean, they're an elite offensive group. We, uh, Joe Larrabee, he's there. We have some history with him, so it, it will be a fun matchup. We're, we're from, we have a lot of guys from the Greenville area, so it's just an exciting weekend. You think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, congratulations awesome. on the new career high. Awesome, thanks. That is junior guard Nick Brennigan. 
Michigan, our Food City player of the game, as Carson Newman prevails over Tusculum, 83-73. to A couple scores, well, not just a couple, a few more than a couple. Five scores from around the South Atlantic Conference, UVA-wise. We told you about that one earlier. Highland Cavaliers prevail over Emory and Henry, 77-75. to It's Catawba taking out Anderson at home, 88-76. to Limestone hangs on on the road against Newberry. 67 to 63. Wingate pulverizes Coker 110 to 88. And Lenore Ryan, no issues on the road with Mars Hill. 80 to 59. Our next presentation of Carson Newman Athletics comes your way on Saturday. Men's and women's doubleheader. Women tip at 2 p.m., men tip at 4 p.m. We are on the air Saturday at 145 from the Abney Center. Skip Roberts back inside the studio. Andrew Rogers for the call of the women's game. I'm Adam Cavalier. Thanks for joining us. Once again, the final score from Pioneer Arena. It's Carson Newman 83, Tusculum 73 until Saturday. We'll talk to you then. Have a pleasant rest of your Wednesday. Good night, everybody. You've been listening to Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. Today's game has been brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics. The Inner Digital, IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that service built. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By Food City, value every day. By Trilight, dream big with gig. By Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. And by ShopCNEagles.com the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. The executive producer of the Eagle Sports Network is Matt Pope. Producers Adam Cavalier, Ian Johnson, Andrew Drizzy Rogers, Nia Terribio, Caitlin Jones, and Ryan I Love the Herd Wilkes. I'm staff announcer Ernie Anderson. A special thanks to Carson Newman and University President Dr. Charles A. Fowler. Stay tuned to these stations for information on our next presentation of Carson Newman Basketball. In the meantime, visit CNEagles.com for recaps, highlights, and interviews from today's game. This is the Eagles Sports Network.